Apex technical line of products continues to develop. Our WTX buoyancy control range now offers the option of an internal retraction system for our wing type bladders, which allows the diver to achieve a more streamlined configuration. You can see the narrow profile on our test diver. Retraction evenly compresses the BC and protects against large air movements which can occur in standard bladders when divers change position. Our system also reduces the buoyancy cell width which in turn greatly reduces drag and the potential for snagging. The internal design offers the obvious advantages without the risk of external bands snagging on obstacles. Apex technicians Jim and Aaron will take us through the fitting procedure. Our retractor system is secured through a series of internal loops sewn into the outer bag. The outer and inner retractors run through loops out of the grommet holes on the rear of the outer bag where they are then tied off and secured. Compatible BCs are the Apex WTX4, WTX6, WTX8 and the WTX redundant system. We will go through the optimal method of securing the internal retractor system for maximum effect, but there are other methods of configuring according to personal preference. Layer the WTX BC on a flat surface and unzip the outer bag. Fold back the outer bag to expose the outer and inner sewn loops that are located directly below the zip track. Insert one end of the retractor bungee into one of the two grommet holes which are situated at the bottom of the outer bag, one on either side as shown here. Then run it through the outer loops which are sewn into the outer bag and feed the retractor through the opposite grommet hole. Repeat this process, running the second retractor through the inner sewn in loops. At this stage, do not tie off the retractors. Starting on the left side, place one hand over the grommet hole and grasp both ends of the retractor with the other hand. Pull the retractors tight until you see the outer bag start to compress. The tension on the retractors will be retained once pulled through the grommet hole. There is no need to tie off at this time to retain tension. Grasp the outer retractor at the top of the outer bag and work any slack down from the top to the bottom through the internal loops. Pull the retractor tight through the grommet hole. Repeat this process for the inner retractor. Continue to work out the slack until the left side of the bladder is compressed sufficiently. Zip the outer bag until it is about half closed. Then repeat the process to tighten the right side of the outer bag as previously described. Fully close the zip once the right side 
has been compressed sufficiently. A tip when closing the zip is to grasp the outer bag at the top and the bottom to straighten out the zip prior to closing. A helping hand here is useful. Tie an overhand knot in the retractors on each side directly below the grommet holes. Do not trim the excess at this time as adjustment in the tension might still be needed. At this stage, inflate and deflate the bladder several times to allow the retractors to work into place. Ensure the proper tension of the retractor system has been achieved. Orally inflate the bladder to be sure the retractors are not too tight. You should be able to inflate the bladders with little effort. If you cannot orally inflate the BC, readjust the tension of the retractor system. Once the bladder has been tested and the desired tension has been achieved, the excess of the retractors can now be trimmed below the overhand knot. Thanks lads.